And so, even though the squirrel wasn't able to buy a dream, she realized that she could make her own beautiful dreams. That's it for the story today. Good night, Scald. Thank you, Rata. Good night. Rest up, Scald. You seem worn out lately. Worn out? But I've been sleeping well. Still, thank you, Rata. You rest up too. I heard the teacher say recently that your vital signs haven't been so stable. <laughs> I'm fine. It's probably just all the extra training I've been getting assigned lately. <laughs> I'll be fine after a good night's sleep, so don't worry about me, Scald. Good night again. All right. Good night. Sleep doesn't mean rest. It refers to lying down in the chamber like this and replenishing your divine grace after your body's been overburdened from access key use. The teacher said that since we weren't originally able to use access keys, our bodies can't produce our own divine grace. So we have no choice but to do this regularly. Tomorrow, I'll get to hear the rest of the story from Rata. How did the squirrel get the ability to dream? The story jumps around so much that I just don't get it. The next day, Rata was dismantled. I watch as the teacher lifts Rata's arm, which was removed from her body, and loudly demands an explanation from the students around her. We examined her and even reset her parameters. This shouldn't have happened. Maybe it had something to do with her access key? Our research into that power is still incomplete, so we might have overlooked something by only considering her android functionality. I don't want to hear your excuses. I trust you know what will happen if Project Forge Tower is exposed. How did she escape this time? Didn't CCTV cameras see anything? She must have used her access key. All the footage from that time is gone. The teacher looks really angry. She slams Rata's hand hard into the table, breaking it into pieces. Does this mean... Rata won't be able to tell me stories anymore? 0705. You and 0703 were close, weren't you? Yes. Rata would often tell me stories. Then how does seeing her destroyed make you feel? Feel? Why would I feel anything? The teacher never said that I have to feel something. 0704. Do you have feelings then? About Rata? <sighs> and I thought you were different from the others. 0704 turns away from me, seemingly not wanting to talk to me anymore. Speaking of which, this is the first time he's come up and talked to me. 0704 always stays in his room, being gloomy. He doesn't go out except for training and checkups. And he didn't talk to anyone other than Rata. 0704 was the last person to see Rata before she left, so the teacher had him thoroughly examined. Does 0704 wish he could hear more of Rata's stories too? 0704's physiological analysis is complete. Next is 0705. Come on, chop chop! Check them thoroughly. We haven't confirmed whether 0703's anomaly is contagious. Subsequent oversight. Uh, understood. understood. The white rabbit told the squirrel about his vibrant dreams. This filled the squirrel with yearning. Why can't I dream? She thought to herself. The squirrel went to ask the owl, and the owl said, I can dream, but I disdain dreaming. Only reality is worth pursuing. Dreams are utterly insignificant. The squirrel recoiled at the owl's cold response. Refusing to accept it, she left to find another animal to ask. The wizened old goat told the squirrel about his dreams. Speaking at a leisurely pace, he recounted his dreams of reverie of bounding between rainbows. Just when the squirrel was about to ask the goat how to dream, she discovered he was already fast asleep. She then went on to ask the fox. The fox said, Sure, you can dream, but it will cost you. But the squirrel didn't have any money and could only abandon that idea. Ratha was taken away once before. Even though she'd forgotten a lot of things when she came back, she was still Rata, and quickly went back to being her old self. But I really can't remember the things I've forgotten. Like when I was awakened, or why I exist. 
I always admired Rata for being able to remember those things. But it seems like Rata won't be coming back this time. Rata... I still wanted to ask you whether I understood yesterday's story correctly. I remember all the stories that Rata told me, but I don't understand most of them. Are fairy tales really that hard to understand? They're more confusing than the teacher's orders. Your turn now, Mjolnir. I'll heal all your wounds. Ooh, Can you control the lightning? It's time to settle the score. Out of my way! <laughs> the ocean. Weakling. Told you I'm alright. Keep going. Let's have a little fun. You're on. Time to sign up, you maggot. Be careful, everyone. It was nice to meet you. Not. I'll heal all your wounds. Where did you go today, Scald? A tall building. And cats. Many cats. All inside boxes. And lots of doors. The teacher wanted me to take something. Did you get it? No. I got caught. Looks like the teacher only does these things in your dreams so that nothing goes wrong. Good. This way you'll get to go out again. As long as it's in a dream, you can do anything you want. Not like us. Do you want to go out, Rata? The teacher said none of us can go out. Me included. But the teacher never said that you can't dream, right? If it happens in a dream, it doesn't count as disobeying the teacher. Is... that so? You can go and see the world outside from you, Skald. Even if it is only a dream. You're not carrying out the teacher's orders. You're going outside as you wish. Because you want to. Pain interceptor analysis complete. Data signature's normal. Should... should I keep going? Uh, probably better to run the test one more time. Commander Parakazer said it herself, after all. We have to make absolutely sure that we don't miss anything. Ah! Ah! 0703's ability to change perceptions was always dangerous. I said so from the start, but nobody listens to me. It's no surprise the situation got out of hand. But 0704's ability is even more dangerous. Just to be on the safe side, reset his parameters after we're finished here. Okay. <sighs> Looks like we're in for another late night. Huh? You just tried to read my memories, didn't you? Who gave you permission to do that? O705. Your abilities are valuable, but their side effects are obvious. That's why you must complete the mission as soon as I give it to you. Find the correct answer, then report everything that happens back to me. You're the freest of us all, Skald. The teacher limits what the rest of us can do. But you can do it all in your dreams. So, will you go and see the world outside for me? If it's in a dream, then it doesn't count as disobeying the teacher's orders? The squirrel thought, perhaps the reason why she couldn't dream was that she hadn't seen enough things. All she needed to do was leave the house, and she would inevitably see concerning things that she would need to dream about. She once heard her parents say that if you went 30 feet north of their house, turned to left, then climbed 10 feet up, you'd find a treasure grotto. Everything you could ever need was in that grotto, but the squirrel's parents clearly didn't want her to know that. So... The rebellious squirrel decided to go looking for the grotto herself. But if her parents found out, wouldn't they be angry? The squirrel knew what the consequences would be. But she... She didn't want to stay home anymore. She wanted to take the treasure and fly far away. Her parents... must not have treated her well. Hmm. <laughs> they actually treated her fine. She just always felt like something was missing. Missing what? Well, it was missing. So naturally, the squirrel didn't know what it was. 
Later, the squirrel found the treasure grotto, but there was no treasure inside. All that was there was the passageway, and at its other end was bright, shining sunlight. She crawled out through it, and the sunlight outside dazzled her eyes. The unfamiliar sights and gleaming view that stretched out before her left her stunned. When she eventually returned to her senses, she realized she was looking at the wide world. So, this is the treasure grotto, the squirrel exclaimed. Then she scurried into the depths of the jungle. And that's where our story ends. What does the wide world mean? Oh? You haven't learned those words? I understand wide and world, but put together, I... So you haven't seen mountains or the ocean? If you'd seen those, you'd definitely understand. Mountains? The ocean? Thank you, Rata. Did you find the treasure grotto too? 30 feet, 10 feet... It really is here. But there doesn't seem to be any sunlight. Is this the treasure grotto that Rata told me about? Mjolnir can't wait to go. I'll heal all your wounds. Ooh, thanks. Get this. I'll take it from here. Huh. One more point to score. Oh, uh, they break so easily. Out of my way. Huh. It was nice to yeah. meet you. Not. Be careful, yeah. everyone. Let's have a little fun. Ha. You're on. Time to sign up, you maggot. Well, now, you can see just about everything in Iron Soft, but you don't see get-ups like that every day. Uh, hello. With a pretty face like that, it'd be a waste not to have some nice clothes to go with it. Tell you what, I'll take you someplace nice. Someplace nice? You betcha. They got loads of nice clothes there. I'm sure they'll have just the thing for you. Okay. Thank you. Let's go. Huh? What is it? Can I not wear new clothes? No! You just agreed so quickly. If you trust people that easily, you're gonna get duped sooner or later. Duped? Are you a crook then? Do I look like a crook? I don't know. I've never seen one before. But if you're not a bad person, then it's fine. <laughs> You're a funny young lady. The man laughs, shaking his head. Without saying another word, he turns and takes me to an out-of-the-way shop. Oh, I'm sorry. Not finding what you're looking for? Hardly. I'm just a humble clothing designer. I barely get any customers in anyway. I couldn't afford to rent a space in a shopping center, so I just had to make do here. Over here, miss! Ha! <laughs> what do you know? Two customers at once. Business is booming today! Is this... the nice place you were talking about? Miss! You can't just say the first thing that pops into your head. Don't get the wrong idea now. I just saw that she had those weird clothes on, so I brought her here to get some new ones, that's all. Uh, you don't look like you have any money on you, though. Money? As in currency? No, I don't have any. Ah, forget it. A girl like you would definitely run into problems dressed like that out there by yourself. Here, take this on the house. I'll consider it advertising for the shop. What do you think? I think it suits you to a T. Thank you. No problem, no problem. Have you found what you're looking for? What? Who goes out shopping without any money? Get out of here. <sighs> 
You remind me of my daughter when she was little. Your daughter? <sighs> That's all in the past now. If you like this one, you can have it. Just remember to help spread the word about my shop when you can. Eight thirty. Time to monitor my vital signs. But there's been no broadcast, and I don't see any monitoring rooms around here. Does this mean I don't have to do it? I'm a little hungry. Is there no scheduled breakfast at 8 o'clock here either? That house across the street. There's so much bread in there. <laughs> Ow. You're the one without any money at the clothes shop. this out with you, but no money? To the wide world outside that Rata talked about. Mountains and the ocean. I'll be able to see the ocean if I go with you. Okay, yes. Scold, you. Done. Okay, got it. Let's go, Tantan, to the beach. Stop right there. You, get away from 0705. Save it! The director told us to act as soon as we found the target. They found me already? I'll come find you again next time. Promise you'll take me to the beach then? I'm back at the marker. The teacher said that we aren't allowed to leave the Institute under any circumstances, and we must follow orders. But Rata said that if it's in a dream, it doesn't count as disobeying the teacher. I think I understand now. Can you take me to see the beach? You promised to take me. Hey! Not only did you come into my store without any money, you're also gonna turn down a request from such a cute girl? We have to hurry or they'll catch us. Then, Tantan took me to the beach. Rata, you told me that I would understand when I saw the mountains and the ocean. But how come I still don't get it? The waves noisily lap against the shore, one after another. I want to use the water to wash the sand from between my toes. But just a few steps later, they're covered in sand again. So I give up. But there are so many people here. Everyone's wearing all sorts of different outfits. And they seem happy just to be in the sun and watch the waves do the same thing over and over again. I've never seen a pure emotion like this on the face of anyone in the Institute. Not the people in white, not even the teacher. I didn't think something like this existed. Yes, the way the water shines like gold in the sunlight is very pretty. The breeze also feels nice. But I still don't understand what the wide world is. 
I had a good friend before who suddenly disappeared one day. She said that she hoped I would go see the wide world outside for her. Meet more people? I see, but I don't know how to meet more people. Scold. Mm, I know. So, as long as I'm with you, Dantan, I can share any of my troubles with you and go wherever I want to go? <laughs> I don't know. I just suddenly felt like laughing. Am I not allowed to do that? That's not what I learned before. Uh, Bentan, you're leaving? Contact information? I don't have a personal communication device. Stop right there. You, get away from 0705. Save it! The director told us to act as soon as we found the target. Uh, they found me. See you next time, Dantan. My Mjolnir can't wait to go! I'll heal all your wounds. Ooh, thanks! I'll take it from here! Nice to meet you. Not bad. Let's have a little fun. Ha! You're on. Time to sign up, you maggot. One more point to Thor. Found you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll heal all your wounds. Ooh, thanks. Ow, can you catch hold of lightning? understand what you meant but i think i understand now why the squirrel wanted to be able to dream before i just followed the teacher's orders every day trying to find the right future and when there weren't any orders i just followed the mission list and trained and trained this is the first time i've ever looked forward to the future or wanted to see my own future i want to see Tantan again. It's beautiful. Thank you. Are you happy, Tantan? Are you usually very busy, Tantan? You lost your memory, huh? You're a lot like me, Tantan. I forget things really easily, too. A journal? But I don't know how to write. Maybe I could before, but I don't remember how to anymore. doing what you told me to, Dantan. I'm taking a photo of something I don't want to forget. I'll try my best to remember you. What a shame. If I leave the vision, 
the camera and photos disappear too. If only I could get a camera outside of the dreams, and go somewhere outside of the dreams, and meet Tantan in real life. Ugh, no, I can't. That's against the teacher's rules. I can't disobey the teacher's orders. Then please, just let me have another good dream. How many visions have I had altogether? I've lost count already. It's still quiet in the Institute. What's tomorrow morning's training program again? I can't remember. All I remember is that Tantan gave me a camera and said we could go out and do something together next time. I want to go out and do something fun with Tantan, but... I get caught as soon as I get to the beach, and the dream stops there. Right. If I don't go to the beach, then I won't get caught. Tantan said that they would go to the amusement park with their friends that afternoon. I just have to go there and find them. 0705. Huh? 0704? You're not resting in your chamber? 0705. You used your ability just now, didn't you? How did you know? Just a guess. Even without using my ability directly, I can sense changes in someone's memory as long as I'm close enough to them. You've changed too, 0704. You never used to talk to me before. <laughs> Is that so? Maybe I figured out a few things, and now I'm more accepting as a result. I don't understand. I was the last person Rata saw before she ran away. She told me that my ability shouldn't be locked away in this place. She said I should get out and do what I'm meant to do. Get out? But the teacher created us and her word is law. We can't go out. Her so-called orders are nothing more than a perception she planted in our bodies. Perceptions are memories, and memories can be changed. That was Rata's final parting gift to me. I don't understand. <laughs> Looks like Rata didn't choose you in the end. Then I guess there's nothing more for me to say to you. 0704 doesn't speak to me again. He said he wants to go out and do what he wants to do. The truth is, I want to go out too. I want to go somewhere besides the beach with Tantan so we don't have to talk about the same things every time. But the teacher's word is law, and the teacher said we can't... Mm -hmm. uh, the teacher said... Why can't I remember what the teacher said? Mjolnir can't wait to go! I'll heal all your wounds. Ooh, Ooh, get me. I'll take it from here. Yeah. Huh. Weakling. Oh, they break so easily. Yeah? yeah. 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 It was nice to meet you. Not! Have a little fun. Ha! You're on. Time to sign up, you maggot. Yeah! The amusement park. Where's Duntan? Thank 
Thank you. Uh huh. No, I can't go there. So find me. Uh, I want to try that one. Can you go with me? Okay, that's fine. I tried the teacup ride with Dantan for the first time. The round chairs crisscross and spin in a multicolored shifting halo of light. When we get off, Dantan holds on to me for support in dry heaps for a while. Dantan can't handle rides like that. But then, why don't I feel anything? Oh well. I won't make Tantan ride that one next time. The second time, we go to the guessing game booth. Tantan's luck is really bad, but I don't want to leave empty-handed. So, I use my vision ability to guess where the squirrel plushie is. Tantan looks so happy at guessing right, saying that the luck has finally turned around. I probably shouldn't tell them the truth. The music from the merry-go-round sounds so nice. Other than the bell ringing at the Institute, I haven't really heard any other music. But Tantan looks bored. Tantan must get to hear all kinds of music all of the time. I don't know a lot about Tantan. I'll have to try and ask my questions next time. The drop tower is the ride we've done the most times, but I don't actually like it. Dropping so fast like that reminds me of how my ability training feels, like dropping into a bottomless pit. But of all the rides, the drop tower is Tantan's favorite. Tantan smiles and laughs as we fall. Do humans feel excited when they fall? I don't get it. I'm willing to go on this ride that I don't like because Tantan likes it. Why is someone else's happiness more important to me than my own feelings? Rata. Since leaving the Institute, I think I understand more things now. But now even more things don't make sense to me. Still, right now, I feel happy in my dreams. Next time, I want to ride the Ferris wheel with Tantan. Rata? Rata? Who... Am I talking to? Who is Rata? Vital sign monitoring time! Come out and report in order! It's daytime already? Dream time is much shorter than real time. But if too many dreams are stacked on top of each other, it moves time forward faster. How many dreams did I have last night? 0705, you're up. Yes. I get caught if I try to use my ability in the daytime. I'll just have to wait until it's time to rest again. Why isn't it my time already? I want to see Tantan again. Next, 0704. Attention, everyone! Test subject 0704 has attacked the researchers and escaped! The target broke free from Area 4. Ops team, gear up for immediate pursuit! I repeat, 0704 has attacked staff and escaped! Ops team, ready your equipment for immediate pursuit! 0704 ran away? Hurry! We have to bring 0704 back before all hell breaks loose. Project Forge Tower is as top secret as it gets, and it's up to us to make sure it stays that way. This 
isn't efficient. This is really happening. Can I leave now? If I go now, I'll be able to see Tantan. Everyone's looking for 0704 right now. No one will notice if I leave. My Mjolnir can't wait to go! I'll heal all your wounds. Ooh. Hey, get me. I'll take it from here. <laughs> Weakling. Yeah? yeah? It was nice to meet you. Not! Oh, be great. Let's have a little fun. Ha! You're on! Time to sign up, you maggot! Told you I'm alright. Keep going. Not bad. Out of my way! Can you catch hold of lightning? Say your goodbye! I'll heal all- Now I'm all warmed up! And so, the girl finally awoke from the dreams that had once so transfixed her. And from there embarked on a journey in search of a friend. What troubled the girl, however, was that everything she had seen in her dreams had already faded into yesterday. The reality that awaited now was unknown to her. Where was her friend from her dreams? Where should she go to find them? Would the Wicked Institute workers find her? What was the other escaped artificial life form planning? Who are you? Oh my, that's right. By now you will have already forgotten me. That's okay. I'm just someone who disappeared from the physical world and now only remains as a few fragmented thoughts in your cognition. There's no need to be concerned with who I am. Just think of me as a fairy who's come to help grant your wish. Do you still remember what you want to do, Skald? I've left the Institute, and now I want to see the real Tantan. No, no, no. That was a long time ago already. Think carefully. Your vision shouldn't have eaten up your memories of everything you've experienced in this time. A long time ago. I remember now. That's right. I've already seen Tantan. Yes, that's right. But I made things really difficult for Tantan. Tantan kept losing important friends. I tried to help every way I could, but nothing worked. No matter how hard I try, Tantan always dies in the end. Yes, very good. You're remembering now. Fate is a cruel thing, isn't it? No matter how many futures you imagine, you can't escape the clutches of what's to come. But fortunately, now you have a chance to stop it all from happening. Everything that you just remembered, None of it's happened yet, right? Yes. They were all dreams. When you left the Institute, the path you walked was real. But the countless times you witnessed your friend die, you actually fell into a false dream. So then, where is the point connecting these two things? The point connecting them? Do you mean the marker? That's right. You may have lost your memories but the connecting point really exists. All you need to do is find that marker, and it will lead you to the future you seek. Try to think back, even if it's just fragmented images. Try to remember what happened after you left the Institute. After leaving the Institute, I wanted to find Tantan, but there were people everywhere and I didn't know where to look for them. The street, the beach, the amusement park, that was all from yesterday. I went to the original spot and waited there, but we didn't end up meeting like we had on that day. But... I still saw Tantan in the end. What sort of circumstances did you meet under instead? I was attacked by someone, and I was hurt very badly. Who was it that attacked you? 
It was... old. <laughs> if it isn't Scald, it's only been a few days, and here we meet again. So, change your mind since we last talked? I don't know what you mean. Come on, playing dumb? I'll just take that to mean that your answer hasn't changed then. What do you mean? Think you can run away like last time? I've already filled up on the divine power of other modifiers, so I'll be writing the story from here! Hear my proclamation, and join me on the throne as my second-in-command, Skald! After I've corrected this world and delivered it from its flaws, I will rule over it. <laughs> Why are your memories all screwed up? What did you use your ability to do, you freak? You're the one who's been attacking our modifiers, aren't you? Here comes the trouble. You've gotten lucky again. But it doesn't matter. In your present state, it's not long before you're scrapped anyway. After all, you don't have many memories left now, do you? Scrapped? What does he mean by that? The teacher said that humans die. Is that what being scrapped would mean for me? life hangs in the balance. This is cause for celebration. The girl was rescued at the last moment by her dear and cherished friend. Then that wasn't the vision connecting point, was it, Rata? Bingo. Looks like you remember now. Uh, wait a minute. You can remember my name now, too? No. It was just a guess. Old mentioned you before. I see. But your voice is so... gentle... and familiar. We must have been good friends before, right? I'm sorry... for forgetting you. <sighs> That's right. We were very, very good friends. Old keeps talking about last time. Because I was attacked by him once before. And then Tantan saved me. It wasn't a side effect from my visions that made me forget that memory. It was my injuries. I... remember all of it now. The first time I encountered Uld, I made a marker. I escaped the dead end and got away from him, until I was caught again the second time. And that's when I met Tantan. That marker was the connecting point between this reality and the dreams. It's also the last chance I have to save Tantan and their friends. But that Tantan hasn't met you yet. If you go back to that time, it would mean that in the true reality, Tantan hasn't even seen your face before. Yes. I know. In that case, do you still want to go back there? There are still other markers. Although, some people probably won't be able to be saved. That's okay, Rata. I'm already content with the experiences I've had. Besides, if our paths cross again, I'm afraid that things will turn bad all over again. After this time, I probably won't have any memories left. <sighs> it looks like you've made up your mind then. Do you still remember the way back? <sighs> to be honest, it's been a long time since I last went back to such a faraway marker. Don't worry. You've practiced this so many times. It's second nature to you now. 
Do you know how to make a paper airplane? It's like throwing a paper airplane. Just throw your consciousness toward your destination. <laughs> it just so happens I do know how to do that. Cognitive modifications don't leave much data on your chip, so I won't be able to go with you. Will you be okay by yourself, Skald? Don't worry, Rata. I'll be fine. <sighs> to be honest, it's my fault that Old ended up this way. If he hadn't misunderstood what I said to him back then... Rata, I'm taking off now. Oh, <laughs> all right. Uh, smooth travels. Just like folding a paper airplane. <sighs> and then... I go and save Tan Tan. Sleepy. Where are you? It's someone from the Institute. doing here <laughs> I see so you had the determination to leave the Institute as well no wonder Rata took a liking to you you and I are kindred spirits come Skald with your help victory is certain oh 704 what have you done hmm you mean this he got in my way, so I killed him. Is that really so difficult to understand? The teacher said we were made to fight the Visbanes and save the world. So, we were born to be the saviors of all life. But the teacher's vision is too narrow, too limited. She didn't see that we'd already evolved into superior beings. She just kept pedantically insisting that we were unstable and imperfect! It was Rata who made me understand that no one is qualified to define God. So I left that place in order to fulfill my mission as a modifier on my own terms. What are you going to do? <laughs> I think that would be too difficult for you to understand, no? In short, your divine grace is just about exhausted, isn't it? Well, now you don't even need to return to the lab. Just draw the energy from other modifiers' access keys, and you'll never have to worry about running out again. Anyone who tries to get in the way of our mission, be it Visbanes, the Institute, the Teacher, or even the World, all will submit to our power. Oh, 704. I don't understand what you're saying. I didn't leave the lab for any of the things you're talking about. I just wanted to find someone. Huh? Oh, <laughs> I see. Then I really misunderstood. Here I was actually happy to think I'd found someone who understood me. But no matter. Minions have never submitted to God of their own free will. I remember now. This was also the place where I had that first vision. The teacher saw us as unnecessary. To her, we're flawed weapons, destined to be abandoned one day. Did you not understand that after Rata disappeared? What if the next person to vanish was you? Or me? So, why not let us become gods? Then we'll be the ones holding the pen, free to draw up the boundaries and determine the fates of all things as we see fit. But old, becoming gods won't bring Rata back. Looks like it's pointless to say anything else to you. That's fine. 
You'll just be reborn according to the script I've written for you! You will become my second in command and follow me. Hold on. What's wrong with your memories? What did you use your ability to do, you freak? Vision begin! What are you doing? Do you really think you can use your visions to run away from this? I'm not trying to run away. I decided when I came here that I'm done running. So tell me you're trying to let go of me! Get away from me, you freak! When I first left the Institute, a nice man gave me new clothes, and I met a penniless Than Than. I went to the beach with Than Than 217 times. The sand was warm and soft under my feet, and Than Than complained about always being unlucky after being hit in the head by a child's volleyball. We didn't go to the amusement park quite as much. Only 109 times. Than Than liked other rides other than the Ferris wheel, so I... Never got to ride it. When I thought Bold would kill me, the person I wanted to see most appeared before my eyes. But unfortunately, Tantan didn't remember me. But we still had happy experiences together after that, so I got a little selfish and repeated our outing that day 80 times. If only I could have kept those photos as well. Because photos can help forgetful people remember important things. But later, Tan Tan also experienced many scary things because of me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean for any of that to happen. It took me 186 times to escape from the amusement park, but I didn't want Than Than to worry, so I lied and said it only took me 40-something times. Strange. Is it because my memories are being deleted one by one before my eyes? That's why I have to count everything just right. Find me. <laughs> all, all will yield to me. I am the savior of this world. <laughs> your wounds. I know it's important to find that modifier attacker, but we only just got back from Shuhong. Shouldn't we drop by headquarters first? Guaranteeing your teammates' safety is more important than catching up with them. Two free modifiers have already been attacked so far. 
We have to resolve this before it makes landfall on Ether Gazer's doorstep. Let's save our happy, festive reunion for when everyone's safe and this has all blown over. All right, I guess you got a point. Damn attacker. Show yourself already. That's him. Huh? This boy? Really? You... You're all... You are all modifiers, aren't you? <laughs> modifiers, submit to my rule. I am the leader of the modifiers. Heed the guidance of fate and yield to me! Hey, kid. Who are you? Did you get hit on the head or something? Me? <laughs> I... I am old. Remember it well. I am the king of the modifiers. I am the ruler of fate! Yikes, he really is sick in the head. Only an idiot would listen to someone acting like such a weirdo. How dare you speak with such disrespect! You're blaspheming. You're king. Your king will punish you personally! Oh, neat trick. Don't underestimate the enemy, Thor. I know, I know. <laughs> I haven't had a good workout in forever. My Mjolnir can't wait to go! for you! you were so ruthless <laughs> not at all just a formality i didn't mean it like it's a bad thing but after coming all the way back from shuhong doesn't wrapping the mission up this quickly feel kind of like a letdown hey where are you going i have a couple things to take care of weren't you eager to go and see your dear teammates our work here is finished you can clock out for the day <sighs> all right, all right. I'll leave you to it then. A journal? But I don't know how to write. Maybe I could before, but I don't remember how to anymore. Something's coming out. Who was it that said these things? Which hat has an apple under? Take a guess. The middle one. Right again. That makes it four times in a row now. Maybe five. I think you've had enough. Huh? Why is he angry? But they were the correct answers. I thought everyone liked correct answers. 
are these things I've experienced before? With you? I can't remember, but I, I have to write the Ferris wheel. I made a promise with someone. Is this the way to the amusement park? Yes, right. The Ferris wheel. We made plans to go back there together. If one can rewind the world as they want, responsibility won't hold any weight. A fact cruel but immutable. There's a limit to what I can protect. And artificial life forms are not included. Our security personnel went to the location you gave to carry out the salvage operation. They were indeed our two missing artificial life forms. Is that so? Good. Why meet at this place? Clearly there are more suitable alternatives. No reason in particular. Maybe I just suddenly felt like coming to the amusement park. I'm astounded that you were able to resolve the situation so quickly. 0704's little outburst had her security personnel at their wit's end. That's why I thought I'd better take the initiative and confess to you myself, so that I may ask you to sort out the situation before it got even more out of hand. That reminds me. I only tasked you with retrieving 0704 for me. I hadn't even realized 0705 was also missing before you came to me. Surely you didn't find her by coincidence. 0705's abilities weren't weaker than 0704's by any means. If she'd been left to run amok, the consequences would be unimaginable. Visions aren't as incredible as you'd think. They have plenty of drawbacks as well. 
Once activated, they swallow up dreams and long-term memory. Other than that, if you meet someone in your dreams with a similar ability, there's a chance you'll be detected. While that person may not be able to retain the memories of the Dream Master, it would be enough to confirm that they are, in fact, in a dream. Visions don't turn back time, nor can they truly predict the future. All that can be obtained from them is information on the outcome of choices. So, that being the case, it's best not to give her any information at all. Wait, are you telling me every time you sense you're in a dream, you would... Anyway, you have my gratitude. Our partnership also... <laughs> What? What are you doing? A friendly reminder, Parakaiser. We are not partners. We are never on equal footing. You're still breathing at the moment because I still have need of your little business. I can even allow you some room for your sideline that you've been dying to keep from me. But you're a wise woman. A wise woman who knows where I draw my line. Let... Let go of me. It's not funny. If you think I'm joking, feel free to have a try. I... I understand. I won't cross a line. We have the same goal. I... I know that. Do you not want to find her? I'm only joking, don't take it to heart. We're partners, after all. <sighs> I... knew it. Such a temper, Miss Modifier. Printing results. According to your test results, you're fit. <laughs>